Okay, so remember we finished the last lesson in the right hand with the F sharp, C, and D sharp. So from this F sharp, we're going to go down one whole step to the E here, okay? And we're going to play E with our thumb, followed by G sharp with finger number two, and C sharp. So again, E, G sharp, C sharp. From there, E, G sharp, C sharp. With our thumb or finger one, we're going to hit the G sharp, followed by the C sharp with finger two and the E with finger four. So again, we have E, G sharp, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, E. And then we're going to do that last sequence of three notes one more time, G sharp, C sharp, E. Okay, so we have and then we're almost going to do the same thing again, but this time we're going to add a high G sharp. Okay, so it's E, G sharp, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, E. Again, G sharp, C sharp, E. This time, two G sharps, low and high, followed again by C sharp, E. Let's play that whole part again. And then we're just going to play a G sharp with our pinky, and the beginning of the next measure is going to be the two G sharps again. Okay, so let's play that whole part. One more time. Now let's look at what the left hand is doing during that time. Well, the pinky is playing a C sharp and the thumb is playing a C sharp. Okay, so you're going to play these two C sharps at the same time. And there's actually a third note, the G sharp is being played with finger number two. So you're gonna play all three of those notes together. Okay? And those three notes are going to sound with your left hand as soon as you start this new part. Let's do both hands together. Now when we play that last pair of G sharps, we're going to be changing what we play in the left hand. Okay, so the left hand, once again, is playing C sharp, G sharp, C sharp. And as we go into that last pair of G sharps in the right hand, the thumb and pinky are both going to move down one half step to the C. So the pinky will move down to the C, the thumb will move down to the C, but finger number two stays exactly where it is on the G sharp. Okay, so it's going to go from here to here. Okay, so let's play everything up until that change. Okay, let's go back to the right hand now. So now from these two G sharps, we're going to play D sharp, F sharp. Okay, so we have with fingers two and four. Okay, and then we're going to go back to the G sharp with the thumb. 
and play D sharp, F sharp again. Okay, so we have. And again. Okay, so. And then we're going to play that pair of G sharps again. So we have. And then again, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, going into the next part. Okay, so let's just play that part one more time. on that pair of G sharps again. So let's do everything we know so far with both hands together. Okay, so when we play that last pair of G sharps, we're going to be playing a pair of C sharps in the left hand. In other words, we're going back up from the C's to the C sharps, but this time there's no note in between them being played, just those two C sharps are being played. So the left hand looks like this. Two, and then back to the C sharps, but without the G sharp in the middle. Let's play everything we know so far. Okay, now in the right hand, after we hit this, the two G sharps, we're going to go C sharp with finger number two, E with finger number three. Okay, so we have, and again, G sharp, C sharp, E. Okay, so we have, and then we go to A with both the thumb and the pinky. And from the A, we're going to play C sharp, F sharp, and then we're going to do A, C sharp, F sharp again. So we have. Okay, so from the pair of G sharps to the A, C sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp. Now back to the left hand, remember, we're going back up to the C sharp with both the pinky and the thumb. And when we switch to the A on the right hand, we're going to move the left hand to a pair of F sharps. Okay. C sharp to F sharp. Okay, so let's do that part with both hands. So we have... Okay, so let's do everything that we learned from the beginning. Okay, so let's do the last measure for today in the right hand. So we're going to be playing a pair of G sharps again, followed by B, E, G sharp, B, E. Okay, again, we have a pair of G sharps, followed by B, E, G sharp, B, E. And then 
from these two G sharps, the thumb is going to move up one half step to the A, and the pinky is going to move down a whole step to the F sharp. Okay, so from the pair of G sharps, B, E, G sharp, B, E, then A and F sharp. Okay, from that A and F sharp, we're then going to play B, D sharp. Okay, let's do that whole part. So we have the pair of G sharps, B, E, G sharp, B, E, A and F sharp, B, D sharp. And then this part, we're going to hit A with the thumb, and then we're going to go a little more than an octave with the pinky to the B, which is just above the A an octave away. And we're going to play one note at a time, so not simultaneously, but a split second later for that B. Okay, so we have Now, if your fingers are long enough um, and you have the reach, you can hold down that A and B. If you don't, don't worry, because you're going to be holding down the pedal anyway, so that A will sustain. But it, it is nicer if you can hold both of those notes simultaneously. Okay, so again, we have... And then we move the thumb over to the B and finish with a D sharp with finger three. So again. Okay, and what is the left hand doing during this? During this, the left hand is just playing a pair of Bs. right next to the three black notes. And we're going to hit that twice. Okay, so let's do that with the right hand. Okay, so let's go over the whole left hand. And now let's play the whole thing with both hands. going to make sure it's nice and soft and we'll add some subtle pauses just like we did in the first lesson. so far, beginning with what we learned in lesson one and finishing with what we learned here.
Okay, so for those of you that are satisfied with how it is now, you can just move on to the next lesson. For those of you who want to learn the optional fingering in the left hand, like I did in the first lesson, I'm going to go over that now. Okay, so the first two left hand parts will be identical. So we have our C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, with fingers one, two, and five. And then we go down to the C, same thing. So those two are the same. Now when we go back up to the C sharp, instead of doing fingers one and five, I'm going to use fingers one and four, and then quickly transition to finger three. That will allow us to get to the two F sharps. So we have, and when we come back up here, F switching to three, F sharp switching to two, and then to the B. When we play the last pair of Bs, we're going to switch to finger two. Okay, so all together now we have. Let's now play it with the right hand. Okay, and let's finish the lesson by playing everything we know so far with the alternate left hand fingering. 